TitleMatchNetwork.com. Kurt Henning came into the uh, territory early on in his career. Yeah. What are your memories of a young Kurt Henning? Kurt Henning. Kurt, Kurt and I got really, became pretty good friends. Um, uh, we broke in around the same time. We were the same age. Uh, Kurt was a great guy. He was, uh, he had a um, Fuji influence. Uh, Kurt a lot, and so Kurt became a river like Fuji. I was going to ask you, did you see a lot of his ribs early on? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Kurt <laughs> was always pulling ribs. Yeah. Early, you also worked with Kamala and uh, other guys like Bigelow. Who are some of your favorite guys to work with in the WWE around this period of time? I, I liked working with Kurt. Guys that I, I could just go out there and work with without, without having to uh, worry about calling shit in the ring. You know, just feeding off of them and, you know, calling a spot, two or three words, you know, and then, you know, be there for each other. Kurt Henning was like that. Randy Savage. Um, Kamala was, you know, that, that was a little different, but he was easy to work with. Um, Bam Bam. I, uh, I, I had, you know, issues with Bam Bam. Um, but, yeah, um. What, what kind of issues did you have with uh, Bam Bam? Bam Bam, Bam Bam just he didn't he didn't like having to he didn't like having to put me over, you know. He had issues with that. He he was he seemed to me to be the kind of guy that in order to freaking get over, you have to get your hand raised, you know. Hmm. And uh, that's not the case, you know. Right. It's really not the case. And, um, he was a little bit put off about that for me. Hmm. Out of all the guys that have passed away, uh, which guy's death hit you hard? Probably Kurtz. Kurtz was a, you know, that was, a, that was pretty rough. And Hawk, too, you know. I got pretty close with him. Did you know Kurt was into uh, what he was into? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Why do you think so many second generation guys have a hard time while others like yourself do pretty well in the business? Well, have a hard time in what way? Getting into the business and uh, staying staying on top. I don't know. Maybe because they shouldn't be there. You know, I I don't know. I I uh, I just see it that you know I'm. I just see that the guys that are second generation. Um, there's something about us that we have a connection, you know. Um, we, I don't know if it's more respect for it or just an understanding of where it comes from and where we come from. Um, I don't know, like with Kurt, you know, I had a you know connection with Kurt, you know, with just there's some in, intangible there that uh, that we have. Um, that it's not really, I can't really put my finger on it. You know, we just, it's like we understand something that, that, uh, only we can understand. What about, um, I guess your thoughts on the business today and the changes in the business? Do you still follow the business today or? Uh, a little bit, a little bit, not that much. I, uh, I, uh, yeah, it is what it is. I, I, uh, I can't, it doesn't hold me. You know, I, I watch it, I, I just feel it's too much, uh, you know, too much standing around talking and back and forth, um, you know, I'll, uh, I'll exploit my ego, you exploit your ego, and we'll try and, you know, make a match out of this. I, too much tits and ass, I think, uh, too much talking on the mic in the middle of the ring you know i just you know, i the way i see it i said if you do that kind of stuff i I, w I just see it if you did that stuff outside of the arena in like somebody's personal life i mean create scenarios where you're doing these these scenarios that they're building out in the real world and then bring them in in the arena is when the is when the the throwdown is right know? But to have matches, confrontations in the ring, I don't know. It's just a little too much for me. Memories of working in uh, Hawaii with uh, Peter Maivia. For Peter. For Peter, yeah. Um, 
Peter was a scary guy. He used to scare me. Uh, I uh, would go over to the office, which was in his apartment. And little Dewey was running around. Huh. Dwayne was running around. Dwayne was like, and Peter and, Peter and his wife um, would be arguing and fighting and she was as mean as he was, and they'd be yelling and screaming and, and Simone at each other, and, and I'm nervous as, I'm, I'm all tense, and all I want to do is come over there and get my $200 that they owed me or whatever, you know, and, and there's Dwayne running around, uh, like, this is old hat, you know, it's, it's nothing, you know, I'm looking at him, and he's looking at me and just doing, carrying on what he's doing, like, like he, this is normal stuff to him, you know, huh. but uh, Dwayne was like, I, my memories of Dwayne, because his mom used to babysit my son, my oldest son, um, when we were in Charlotte. And, uh, Dewey was uh, always real perceptive of everything. He was always quiet. He was kind of a real quiet kid and watching everything. He was just soaking up everything like a sponge, you know. Hmm. Yeah, he was always a good kid. Any good road stories from that territory? From what? From Hawaii? Or were you just Hawaii? There for a couple shots? I was there for about three months. Um... No, just spent a lot of time on the beach and, you know, smoking that good herb, you know. Huh. It's a great place. Yeah. How did you want to...